In this first ever Two Minute Tuesday video, I'm gonna show you why ascending and descending triangles act the way that they do. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Artie and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable on a consistent basis. So majority of the videos on this channel are strategy videos where I give you rules for entry and exit. This video is going to be a two minute informational video on why price action does these types of things and why you should expect the price to continue down or continue up depending on the shape of the triangle. Other YouTubers have done this before, so let's put two minutes up on the clock and let's get into the charts. The fluctuation of price going up and down is literally just a battle between buyers and sellers, constantly day in and day out. Think about the movie 300, when they were stuck in that little corridor holding the wall. This is where we hold them. This is where we fight they were holding their position while they were constantly being attacked and attacked and attacked. That's the same concept you get here with buyers and sellers. That's why I'm such a huge fan of support and resistance levels as well as trend lines. It shows me the power of the sellers versus the power of the buyers. And as the price goes down, getting to where the buyers want to push the price up, they push the price up and are met by the sellers continuing to push the price down. This happens here, 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 and the sellers are getting more powerful as they keep pushing the price down here to where the buyers are pushing the price up. This right here is known as a descending triangle. A typical graphic looks like this, where the price is perfectly rejecting off of the support level and the trend line. But in real life, you do have breakouts and tests out of that range before it fully goes down. A lot of people have the misconception that support and resistance levels get stronger over time. And that is not the case because as you can see it depicted here, the sellers are putting selling pressure on the buyers and they keep hitting this level. They keep hitting their wall of defense, making it weaker and weaker and weaker. And as the price starts to narrow, that's when we start seeing the breakout of that range. You see a few of these last ditch efforts to push the price up, but eventually they break through this wall of sellers, which pushes the price down to the next support and resistance level. And the reason why it will go down to that next level is because there's a lack of buyers here to push the price up. Then once the sellers do push the price down to that level, they are met with a new wall of buyers and they're gonna try to break through that barrier as well. And that is how downtrends are formed. A massive amount of sellers continuing to push the price down, breaking past the buyer's defenses and walls that they have set up, eventually getting exhausted to where the buyers start gaining strength and it falls into a period of consolidation where it is an equal battle between the buyers and the sellers. One last ditch effort by the sellers to break through that buyer's barrier and then eventually losing the battle, causing the buyers to start getting the upper hand on the sellers, pushing against their barriers and eventually breaking through their defenses up to the next resistance zones. So when you're looking at ascending and descending triangles and the picture perfect images that you get on the internet, like these two that I shared on my Telegram group, you have to take those with a grain of salt. The concept is sound, but in real life, it does not look perfect. There are breakouts above and below those zones, which is why having a healthy stop loss is going to be beneficial for you long term and not get stopped out of positions when you get spikes like this. But using all of the strategies that I teach on this channel with support and resistance and trend lines, you will start to see structure in these markets like you never have before. I'm pretty sure I went over the two minutes, but that is a general explanation so you have a better concept of why and how ascending and descending triangles work in the markets. Now, if you guys wanna learn how I drop my support and resistance levels and how I drop my trend lines, check out this video right here. And if you got some value out of this video, you found it interesting and you wanna see more Two Minute Tuesdays, make sure you're dropping a like so that I know and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.